Stage number one, creation. In general, when you create an item of information in a system, there are two ways to do it. One is to type it in from scratch, like a human being goes in there and keys in all the information. That's how it happens on Facebook. But another big way that happens very often, that I don't know if we'll talk about it much later in the class, but the other way that it happens is it's gotten from somewhere, it's acquired, it's brought in from somewhere else. An example might be when, um, uh, when you use the registration system at the University of Washington, that registration system gets all the information it needs about you, the user, one item of information in the registration system, from another database where it was already keyed in somewhere else, right? They don't key in your name just because it's the registration system. They acquire your name from somewhere else. Okay, so when information is created, it can be either authored from scratch or acquired. In Facebook, as I said before, it's authored from scratch. In fact, it's authored from scratch by you. You fill in your user profile. You type in a user ID, you type in a password, you type in a hometown, whatever else it is you type in. You type in a bunch of status updates, you upload, upload pictures, you upload videos, you like things, you comment on other people's walls. All those things are part of one item of information called a person that's you. So that's a very complicated item. It's got a lot of stuff in it, but it's, and it's created by you. You fill it in. Nice for, nice for Facebook because they don't have to spend a lot of effort creating information. For other organizations, it's huge. It's maybe the major expense they have creating information. Creating information is expensive. Think of how much time you've taken to create all the information that you put on Facebook. Imagine if they had to do that for 700 million people. No way, they'd go out of business, way too expensive. So, information is created, and on Facebook in particular, the way it's created is by you. It's authored from scratch into web forms, and those web forms then are brought into the next stage, which is storage.